In this video, we're going to learn the difference between require and use in PHP. Consider this code. Here we have a file called user.php that just contains the declaration for a user class. And here we have another file called index.php. Let's create an object of the user class using the new keyword. To check if this has worked, Let's get the class of the user variable and print it out. If we run this code, we get an error. The user class wasn't found. This is because we haven't loaded the file where the user class is defined. This is what the require statement is for. Before we create an object of the user class, we need to load the user.php file. So let's do that using require. Note you can also use include instead of require, but that doesn't throw an error if the file isn't found. Now when we run the code, the error is gone and we get the name of the class printed out. Now let's try adding a namespace to the user class. We use the namespace keyword, followed by the name of the namespace we want this class to be in, which we'll call app. If we run the code again, we get the user class not found error again. This time the error is not because we haven't loaded the file, because we have. This time the error is because we're trying to create an object of the user class, but this class is now inside the app namespace. To fix this, we need to prefix the class name with the namespace. Let's run that, and now the error has gone, and we get the name of the class printed out, including its namespace. Now, if we're using the user class a lot in our code, or it has a very long namespace, perhaps even with several nested namespaces, it would be easier to refer to that class without using the namespace. This is what the use statement is for. Let's add a use statement at the top for the app user class. This imports the app user class into the current scope. So now we can refer to the user class without its namespace. And when we run this code, nothing changes. There's no error, and we're still creating an object of the app user class. Note the use statement isn't doing anything with files. It doesn't load the file the user class is in. We still need to use require or include for that. So we use require or include to load another file so that we can use the code inside that file and we use the use statement to import a class into the current scope so we can use that class without its namespace. 